Pratima from Planet Physiology. Today we shall study about skeletal muscle. These are the voluntary muscles and contribute about 40% of the body weight. Their microscopic structure shows cross striations and hence skeletal muscles are also called as striated muscles. The basic structural and functional unit of muscle is called muscle fiber or myocyte. It is long, elongated, multinucleated cell, cylindrical in shape and is innervated by motor nerve fiber in its center. Impulses in this motor fibers initiate muscle contraction. All the muscle fibers are arranged parallel to each other between muscle tendons. We shall know what is tendon in a short while. This parallel arrangement of muscle fibers allow addition of contractile force generated by individual fibers. Each muscle fiber is surrounded by a thin connective tissue called an endomysium. It provides appropriate environment for ionic exchange which is necessary for contraction process. Number of muscle fibers are grouped together to form muscle fascicle and each fascicle is covered by another connective tissue called as perimysium. Many such fascicles are bundled together to form muscle belly. It is covered by epimysium, the fibrous covering which protects muscle from friction against other muscles and bones. All these connective tissue coverings contribute to formation of muscle tendons. They connect muscles to bones. These are non-contractile in nature but allow force to be transmitted to bones. They also allow muscles to generate greater force with lesser or no change in their length. Let us quickly revise the organization of muscle. Basic unit of muscle is muscle fiber. Many fibers are grouped together to form fascicle and many such fascicles form muscle proper. Now let us study structure of muscle fiber. As we have seen earlier, muscle fiber is long, cylindrical and multinucleated cell. Its cell membrane is called as sarcolemma and cytoplasm is called as sarcoplasm. Muscle fiber contains all the other cell organelles like nucleus, mitochondria, sarcoplasmic reticulum which is nothing but endoplasmic reticulum in the muscle but all these organelles are present in the peripheral parts. Major part of the cell is made up of many smaller fibers called as myofibrils and each myofibril in turn is made up of further smaller fibers called as myofilaments namely actin and myosin filaments. In each myofibril there are about 1500 myosin filaments which are also called as thick filaments and 3000 actin filaments which are also called as thin filaments. These filaments are responsible for the process of muscle contraction. These myofilaments are arranged in regular manner within the myofibril which form alternate dark and light bands and hence give muscle striated appearance. Now let us study arrangement of these myofilaments in detail. Within muscle fiber there are filamentous protein which run perpendicular to the length of muscle fiber. These proteins form Z disc or Z line. Actin filaments are attached to Z lines and these Z lines also attach neighboring myofibrils to each other. These Z lines divide muscle fiber into segments and portion of muscle fiber between two successive Z lines is called as sarcomere. Sarcomere is the basic contractile unit of muscle fibers. Let's understand the structure of sarcomere with the help of diagram. These two zigzag lines represent Z lines. Attached to Z lines are thin filaments that is actin filaments. Similarly on other sides of the Z line they will be actin filaments. In between actin filaments will be myosin filaments or thick filaments as indicated by this thick red lines. These myosin filaments have projections protruding out from them and these projections are called as cross bridges. Cross bridges are always directed towards Z line and hence there are no cross bridges in the central part of the myosin filament. This area of the muscle fiber containing myosin filaments and overlapping actin filaments is called as A band. Because thick filaments are included in this region with overlapped actin filaments, polarized light cannot cross easily and hence it appears darker under the microscope and hence it is called as dark band. 
the part of sarcomere which includes only actin filaments form i band within sarcomere there is half of the i band on either side of a bands the complete i band is contributed by the portion of two successive sarcomeres with z lines bisecting it and hence skeletal muscles show alternate dark and light bands under the microscope the central part of a band is little lighter in color and is called as h zone this is the part of myosin filament without overlapping actin filaments in the center of h zone is thin dark line called as m line this m line is site for reversal of polarity of myosin molecules slender cross connections of m line hold the thick filaments in proper position also so let's revise this components of sarcomere quickly z lines limit the area of sarcomere it is the site for attachment for actin filaments it divides i band into two halves portion of actin without myosin forms i band myosin filaments with overlapping actin filament form a band at the center of a band is h zone and it includes only myosin filaments m line is present in the center of h zone within sarcomere each myosin filament is surrounded by six actin filament and each actin is surrounded by three myosin filaments now we shall study in detail about structure of myofilaments so starting with the thick filaments each myosin filament is made up of myosin molecules myosin molecule is a protein made up of two heavy chains and four light chains molecular weight of each heavy chain is 2 lakhs and that of light chain is 20000 thus molecular weight of myosin molecule is 4 lakhs 80000 heavy chains are spirally wrapped around each other and one end of heavy chains is folded to form globular head of myosin molecule two light chains are associated with each myosin head tails of myosin molecules are bundled together to form body of myosin filament whereas heads of the myosin molecule hang outward from the body of the filament with the help of arm These arms and heads of myosin molecule form cross bridges. Each cross bridge is flexible at two points called as hinges. First where arm leaves the body of filament and second where head attaches to the arm. Myosin head has binding site for actin as well as ATP molecule. It also possesses ATPase activity. Myosin molecules are oriented symmetrically in such a way that their tails are towards midline and cross bridges are towards periphery. This is the reason for absence of cross bridges in the center of sarcomere. Now coming to the actin filament. It is made up of three separate proteins: actin, tropomyosin and troponin. F actin molecule is double stranded protein and forms backbone of actin filament. It is made up of globular G actin molecule with molecular weight 42000. Each G actin molecule possesses ADP which acts as active site for interaction with myosin cross bridge. Another filamentous protein that constitute actin filament is tropomyosin. Its molecular weight is 70000 and it wraps around actin molecules in such a way that at rest it covers all the active sites over the actin molecule and thus it prevents actin myosin interaction the third protein in the actin filament is troponin it is a complex of three loosely bound protein subunits namely troponin t troponin i and troponin c troponin i attaches to actin troponin t to tropomyosin and thus it helps to maintain their proper position with respect to each other troponin c has binding site for calcium ions which plays important role in initiation of muscle contraction so this was all about thick and thin filaments these filaments are kept in position with the help of various other structural proteins or anchoring proteins first is dystrophin it links actin filaments 
to proteins in sarcolemma called as dystroglycan which in turn connects to basal lamina in endomycium via another protein called laminin this dystrophin strengthens muscle fibers and protects them from injury deficiency of this protein is responsible for myopathies called as muscular dystrophy another important structural protein is titan this is the largest known protein with molecular weight of 3 million it connects z lines to m lines it also stabilizes thick filaments and maintain their position it acts like a spring and prevents overstretching of sarcomere other anchoring proteins include alpha actinin which attaches actin filaments to z lines nebulin which acts as actin binding protein which binds actin monomers and myomesin is a part of m line it anchors thick filaments with titin and stabilizes and aligns them all these muscle proteins can be grouped into three categories contractile proteins which include actin and myosin regulatory proteins which include tropomyosin and troponin and structural or anchoring proteins which will include dystrophin titin actinin nebulin and myomesin the last part in the structure of muscle is sarcotubular system it is the specialized system for conduction of impulses deep within the muscle fiber it includes t tubule or transverse tubules which are nothing but the invagination of sarcolemma then l tubules or longitudinal tubules which are the tubules of sarcoplasmic reticulum and cisterni which are the dilated terminal parts of the sarcoplasmic reticulum t tubules are closely associated with cisterns on either side and these three structures together form triad in case of skeletal muscle the triads are present at the junction of a and i band and hence there are two triads per sarcomere so this is all about structure of skeletal muscle in the next video we shall learn about the contraction process if you enjoy my sessions press the like button and share it with your friends if you haven't yet subscribed my channel press the subscribe button to get notifications about new releases press bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video